If you work in construction or retail, you've probably made many trips to Home Depot and may be wondering how to scrape data from Home Depot, such as local inventory and pricing without having to visit each store. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using only your web browser without violating the Home Depot terms of service. So you can download CSV files containing all of the Home Depot products, pricing and inventory you're interested in. The first step is to go to homedepot.com and jump to any category or search term you're interested in. I'm going to search for hard wood and see what shows up. Here it's showing me some search results, but this will also work with a category page. As long as you see results on the page, you'll be able to scrape them using this technique. Here we have about 3,500 results, but I don't want to scrape all of them. So I can use any of these filters here to either change the store that it's showing me results and inventory for, or change some of these selections here, or jump to another category Home Depot suggests. For this demo, I'm going to change the material and say that I only want to scrape dark hardwood, so I'm gonna select hickory over here. Home Depot will then reload the results and now I'm down to only 92 results and I can scrape all of these for their product information, inventory, and pricing. In addition to scraping the data shown on the screen, such as the pricing, the reviews, rating, model, description, etc., we'll be able to scrape a lot of hidden fields that are not shown directly on the web page that are instead sent through JSON objects to the browser. To get this data, right click on the page and click inspect on the bottom. This will load up developer tools and will begin recording your network traffic so you can capture this data. Next, refresh the page so you get a fresh set of results now that we just started recording so we can capture the data behind these search results. This next step is optional, you don't have to do this, but if you wanna understand what's going on, click on the network tab, then fetch slash XHR, and then sort the request by size in descending order. Go to the top and you should see this graph QL or something similar, this may change in the future, just use your best judgment. And this is gonna contain all the data powering the display products on the web page. So we can see them all here under the products array. So here's the first one, and if I look under identifiers, I can see it says Blue Ridge Hardwood Flooring, which corresponds to the first result. Shows me the title, the URL, model number, product ID, a bunch of other stuff not shown on the visible web page. I can see the store SKU number and a few other things you may find very useful. Here's some more information about it. We can see the category hierarchy, a few other fields. Again, this stuff is not shown on the web page and no screen scraper is gonna capture this. Here's the pricing information. It shows the original price is 9904, which corresponds here to the price per case. We can see the alternate pricing here if you wanna look at the price per square foot which is shown on the website. You can also see that here if you find that useful. This is gonna vary based on the types of product you're scraping, so be sure to poke around and see what's available here. Again, this is gonna change, for example, if you're scraping Christmas trees, but a lot of these core fields are gonna be the same, like price and inventory. You can also see the reviews, so you only get the average rating, but number of reviews, which can be useful as a proxy to how a product is selling. A lot of reviews means a lot more sales on average. To get the inventory, you have to look at this fulfillment block, and then scroll down to fulfillment options, and this is gonna show me two, it's gonna see be pickup or delivery. Some of them also have a BOPIS option based on what you're scraping, but I can see here it's gonna be contingent on the location. So this is that Florida store I picked, and it's gonna show me it is in stock, and there's 6,425 of these hardwood floor tiles in stock, and I can see this is location ID, so this is gonna to correspond to this Key West store. So this is gonna be different based on what store you have on the Home Depot website. So if you wanna do a different store, change that on the website and rerun the scraping. And this shows me the delivery option. This is basically the same as I can get it delivered from the store, but this may change based on the product type you're scraping, so always double check and use your best judgment. And here's the store selection. I can change this if I want. Click the change button next to Key West if you wanna change your store, which will give you different quantities for the inventories. Now to get all 92 results, scroll down and keep clicking the next button. If you're scraping a large category, this may be a little bit tedious, you may wanna outsource it, but it's honestly not that bad for a small category. And you'll never get blocked doing it this way. Home Depot has started cracking down on automated access, so please don't do that. All right, now we've gotten to the final page of results. We have all 92 in our browser between these four requests here. Now how do we get this data out of the browser? The easiest way is to export this HAR file. Click this button here right in our network called export HAR dot dot dot, save this to the desktop or whatever. To extract the data from the HAR file, you can use this HAR file web scraper, link in the description, to extract the data out for free. First thing you wanna do though is collapse this first result. If you see it, it should be from Qualtrics. Just collapse it, there's a lot of data that's mistakenly pulled to the top. You wanna to look for this GraphQL block here, Federation Gateway slash GraphQL, and look for these referring URLs. They should say something like hardwood flooring or whatever you're trying to scrape. And check out these fields. They should have familiar names like inventory or fulfillment. That's how you know you're on the right block. To download the raw JSON data, scroll down 
and click on these blue links next to each of these individual requests, you'll be able to download the raw JSON data we saw in the browser to use for your own purposes. But if you want the data in an actually usable format like CSV, click parse group here and we'll auto magically parse that raw JSON into downloadable CSV tables you can use in your own analytics tools or whatever. We let you download 10 rows of data for free every day or you can pay a little bit of money to download everything. So here's the pricing information we saw earlier. We can see the price for each product. And here I can see all 92 products and their pricing in one table. This pricing original field looks interesting. I don't know how this was the original price, but apparently it's discounted. I didn't realize they have fractional cents here at Home Depot. The inventory fields are a little bit more tricky to find. They're tucked away all the way in the back, so just keep scrolling. You want to look for this column called fulfillment.fulfillmentoption0.services0.location0.inventory.quantity. I'm sorry it's confusing, but it's auto-generated, and you can get all the inventories here. So you can see which products have a lot of inventory at that store and which ones are low on inventory like this one, 13. It's probably selling pretty well if you're an investor or interested in that data. And if you wanna track this data, you can download this CSV file and save it to your computer and check this on a daily, weekly, et cetera basis to identify trends in the market. Now, if you don't see a number here for inventory or it's off or it looks like all zeros, you may need to go fishing to find a different collection. So click all collections and scroll down and you want to look for a collection ending in fulfillment options. Just keep going through all these. Again, these are all auto-generated, so I'm sorry it's a little bit confusing, but it's not that bad. So here's fulfillment options, and each product will have multiple fulfillment options. For these, it's either pickup or delivery, but some will have BOPIS, like if it's a retail item such as Christmas trees. And we can see the location ID for each option. So here the first one corresponds to the Key West story put in on the website. The other one, 8119, seems to be a warehouse, but they both have the same inventory quantity, which is strange. So I'm assuming the warehouse is in the physical store in Key West, Florida. And once you download that file, you'll see the inventories here. There's gonna be two rows. Then scroll to the right, and you'll get a reference to the actual product that you won't see on the webpage. So here's that first item, Blue Ridge Hardwood Flooring. There's gonna be two rows. They're gonna be duplicated because we have two rows for the inventories. So just scroll back and forth, and you'll be able to see what corresponds to what very easily. So again, if you want to automate this or throw this into your own tools, you'll be able to parse through the columns and just see what you need to analyze and you should be all set. Just look for this fulfillment options collection if you don't see it in the products collection based on what you're scraping. It's going to vary based on exact product types, fulfillment options, store, etc. And there are a couple other collections that may be interesting, like the dimensions will show you different things like category, types of reviews, and a lot of other different fields dependent on each type of product. So you can kind of poke around and see what's interesting to you. You can also get other things like images, videos, and sometimes even links to product manual PDFs. So poke around, you can see an image here. You just have to plug in this size into the URL, which is kind of confusing. It plops in here at the end, so just watch out for that. You can also see swatches, which will basically do the same thing. So here's a swatch collection. You can just copy that URL and you'll see the swatch in your browser. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe and check out this next video on scraping product data from Amazon.